I mean, at least in the gangster rap that I grew up with, it was just shooting. That was it. Y'all make y'all make gangster rap sound like puppies with this right here. Okay, do y'all remember like a year ago or something? I did Ginger Pisces. Y'all don't remember? You need to go back. If not, type it into the uh, search part of my uh, on my channel. My reaction to Ginger Pisces. Um, but I learned something. You know, I, I was in I was in the mindset still of some things that I learned for religious minded folks. That uh, some that I learned from you heavy metal folks. And like I told you guys, I own up to stuff. Yeah, I was guilty of that because we were taught that anytime you hear something top of that, it's like, okay, that's demonic. I'm glad y'all let me in on that. Some of y'all were really nice about it. Some of y'all were pretty harsh about it. But I told y'all from the beginning, I'm one of those people that I can take constructive criticism. I learned about this from the metal uh, community about death growls and all that because just think, I literally just did it. And I'm definitely not demonically possessed. So if I sit there and say, I want the soul, I want the soul, well, give me your soul. I'm not demonically possessed. I just know how to do that because I know how to imitate voices and people and stuff like that. So anyway, my point in saying all that is after I did Ginger Pisces, you guys uh, educated me on some of the black, uh, not black, but on the death, the death metal, whatever like that, stuff like that, or death growls type thing. So anyway, the reason why I'm saying all this is because I'm getting ready to do another song that I was told that is definitely on that same type of mode. And this is from way back then when I did that song, which is, let's see, I'm going to check y'all out on this. This was uh, 11 months ago, so this actually has it up there as being August. This is August the 12th? This is more than, this is a year. Wow. I did this August, wow, how ironic. August the 12th. So anyway, um, the person that sent me this one said, brother, you have to do this one with the words. And I did go back and do Ginger Pisces again, listen to myself with the lyrics, and I'm like, oh, okay, I get it now. But all I was hearing at first was, ugh. So, yeah, like I said, guys, everybody, there's always places to learn, folks. And I'm definitely open to learning things. So, this right here, he told me this is definitely going to be a little more darker than Ginger Pisces. Said it make Ginger Pisces look like a walk in the park. But told me to make sure I get the lyrics to go with it, which they sent to me. So, I'm going to go into it because he says it's going to be very difficult for me to understand. So, all right, folks, without further ado, I'm getting ready to go right on into it. Here we go.
Uh. Man, at least when I did Ginger Pisces and I went back over it, I heard, was able to understand what she was saying when she did her death growl. Man, I tried to follow along with this and read along with this dude. I just couldn't. I mean, what in the world? I just couldn't make out what the heck do. Unless y'all, I I, there is no way that you will be able to, if there was no such thing as lyrics, there is no way that you would be able to listen to this song and pick out the whole, the lyrics to the whole song. But if you try to tell me, oh, you got to have really keen ears to, man, I don't care. That's why back in the day when they used to have CDs and records, they wrote the lyrics on the page. There is no way. I had no idea what he was saying. It sounded like he was sucking through a straw. I'm serious. <laughs> you know how it is when you're sucking a slushy, you're trying to get the last little bit of ice? That noise, that's what it sounded like, man. I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying, that's what it sounded like to me. And I know y'all going to come out probably with the arrows and all that. The music and all that I was getting, especially the slow parts. The slow parts I was getting. But then it just... Yeah, I mean, I was just like... Like, what the heck? Going? I see why y'all be going crazy in clubs and y'all heads going all like this and y'all tearing stuff up. <laughs> this this make you want to tear something up. But anyway, let me get to something else because something else that a lot of y'all made comments off of. And you know what? I was new to doing reaction videos and I wish I had left y'all comments up there. Back when I did Ginger Pisces and all that, some of y'all know a lot of y'all done it. Some people have recently done it. Said so at least heavy metal and rock and roll, whatever, is not like that rap crap. And I hear that all the time. You notice the word rap has word crap in it. Anyway, reason why I'm glad that this came up because the lyrics are here. So they said, rap is all about nothing but violence, murders and killings and money and bees and hoes and all that. And then this per a lot of me specifically like rap was made to hate white people, which, what? Anyway, so reason why I say this because these are not my words, these are theirs. It says, there's something inside me. It's, it's coming out. I feel like killing you. That definitely ain't violent. Uh, let loose the anger. Held back too long. My blood runs cold. Through my anatomy dwells another being. Hmm. Rooted in my cortex. A servant to its bidding. Y'all know what the cortex is? The cerebral cortex in the brain? Anyway. Brutally now becomes my appetite. Violence is now a way of life. The sledge, my tool to torture as it pounds down on your forehead eyes bulging from their sockets with every swing of my mallet i smash your effing head in until brains seep in through the cracks blood does leak distorted beauty catastrophe steaming slops splattered all over me lifeless body slouching dead lechitra i don't know what this is lecherous abscess oh lecherous or lecherous abscess where you once had a head Avoiding the prophecy of my newfound lust, you will never live again. Soon your life will end. I'll see you die at my feet. Eternally I smash your face. Facial bones collapse as I crack your skull in half. Crushing cranial contents. Draining the snot, I rip out the eyes. Squeezing them in my hands, nerves are incised. Peeling the flesh off the bottom of my weapon, involuntarily pulpifying facial regions. Suffer, then you die. Torture, polarize. At one with my sixth sense, I feel free to kill as I please. No one can stop me. Created to kill, the carnage continues, violently reshaping human facial tissue. Brutally becomes my appetite, violence now a way of my life. The sledge, my tool of torture, as it pound down on your forehead. Shoot! I mean, at least in the gangster rap that I grew up with, it was just shooting. That was it. They just had a gun. They didn't even rap about stabbing you. They just said, shoot, buck, buck, boom, boom, block, block. Pull my Glock out. Pull my gun out. Do a drive-by. But, dude. <laughs> God dang. Metalheads, y'all make, make gangster rap sound like puppies with this right here. I'm like, hey, as far as murdering goes, they just shooting and where I come from, y'all. Now <laughs> look, that was all for fun and joking and all that. But look, seriously though, um, I just wanna know 
what y'all think. I'm talking about my metalheads out there, the ones that made comments way back when I did Ginger Pisces. When I read the, when I was reading this as he was singing, that's why y'all probably see me frowning up and all that because I'm like, what the heck? No, imagine this, and I'm just being honest with y'all because it happens with rap music, it happens with a lot of music, it happens with hip hop music too. People hear things like that one song y'all know that's real popular. Well, I'm gonna take my horse to the hotel room. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. Oh, that's that my back. That and that and that. What I'm saying of that is that I teased my cousin Scooter over that when I did that song. I said, you know what? I was just messing, you know, making my jokes like I always do. I was like, black folks just hear a beat. Already getting into it. And they can be singing about anything. So my point is, is that I think sometimes rock and roll music, any music, you can get drawn into the music and get your head rocked to, oh, man, I like that song. And then you get the lyrics and it's like, well, dang, I mean, this is, dude, this is some violent stuff right here. <laughs> Man, this is violent. Anyway, this was <laughs> Cannibal Corpse, Hammer Smashed Face is what this was called. You didn't tell me that. You just said do Cannibal, this link you gave me, you didn't tell me what the name of it was. So anywho, y'all let me know what y'all think. I know y'all going to be coming out of the world works, but again, just like everybody else, I had an open mind. But I'm only judging this based on the lyrics that you gave me, and this seemed like some psycho crazy stuff right here man this sound like this is what they be this is what they this is what they're gonna have in borderlands when the psychos come out trying to kill you Ooh, woo all right metalheads i was able to get it right i listened to it didn't come out like like i did with ginger pisces but i read y'all lyrics and what else type of opinion can i form off of that i'm ty smith modern renaissance man hoping and praying that every last one of you guys have food shelter and clothing and i hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health god bless you all through jesus Thank you